Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk to you about 35 clues that you might be in a family or personal friendship, dating, whatever relationship with a narcissist, a sociopath, or a psychopath. Now, those are definitions that are given based upon um, medical and scientific uh, criteria, but this, these are practical, real-life examples. They say that the 10%, I guess the good news, badness is 10% of the population falls into one of these categories, which seems that's a lot of people, but on the plus side, 90% are not. So here are the 35. Ready? Okay. They are inconsiderate. They are self-centered. They purposely inconvenience you when something is supposed to happen, then all of a sudden they will change plans, interrupt plans, or, or otherwise inconvenience you. They expect to be catered to, waited on, and the center of attention no matter what. They're very shallow and surface in their interactions. They value appearances over substance. They lie a lot. They try to triangulate you, get you involved in drama with them and some other person, try to make you an enemy with some other person. If it's a personal situation, try to make you jealous or suspicious or whatever, but create drama. All of their exes were crazy, if it's a thing like that, or a friend, all, they don't have any other friends because all of their friends were crazy. They are terrible at money management or they have no skills in money management. They're always being sued. They're always being pursued by someone. They can never pay their rent. They have a lot of money. They blow a lot of money. All of a sudden, things show up, new situation, uh, new possessions, new TVs, new stereos, then all of a sudden they're asking you to hold money or they're dodging creditors. They spy on you. They search your phone, your personal mail, your bills, your maybe go to your mailbox, check your email, look at your bank information online, listen to your voicemail, search your cell phone, and then bring it up to you communications that you've had with someone else or transactions you've had with someone else or they report on themselves that they did this and they're proud of this. Their stories don't make sense. When you talk to someone and they're telling you about their childhood or their or their work experience or their family, then you go back and ask them to relate this funny story they told you and all of a sudden it never happened or it didn't happen that way or you've misremembered it or they never told you that or you start looking at these different stories together and they couldn't possibly have been in that city and that city at the same time. They exhibit childlike behavior in an irresponsible way. They have hidden drug use, animal neglect or cruelty they may create a situation with an animal or, or create a situation one of, with one of your animals. They create drama at important times or with people that they know there is a tenuous relationship or a, a fragile relationship or, or the person is fragile. They create, uh, they create drama there. They challenge your relationship with other people. They talk about this, the experts talk about this as isolation, but it can be a subtle, seemingly subtle situation. They will take offense at an, a comment and demand that you rectify it. They will demand or insert themselves into your relationships with other people by trying to require you, twist your arm or trying to require you or be domineering to make you go and rectify this slight against them that is so important that they demand to be involved in your whole life. They want to infiltrate every little aspect. Again, this is in order to create control and to you know bust down your barriers. They demand that you agree with them, even when it's to you, it's completely ridiculous 
or it doesn't make any sense or it's irrational or their position that they're taking is completely against your values, your beliefs, common sense, popular opinion or reality. They've agreed with you on opinions or preferences or people or ideas and then flip it around and all of a sudden criticize all of your opinions, your beliefs, your religious beliefs, your values, your associations in kind of an about face and then are critical of you and deny that they were ever the other way. You catch them in a lie or more than one lie. They claim that you are crazy, that you imagined it. And even if it was in person, I have related stories. I've received stories from others where they caught someone face to face in a situation. Who, then they completely deny it. They make stupid, impulsive purchases. This kind of goes along with the money management, but you might not know about their money management or lack or skills or lack thereof, but, but you see impulsive purchases or they're showing you something that they got and they don't know how to work it or it's broken or it's defective and they paid way too much money for it or they, you know, they are completely incompetent in using it or working it or something like that. They, they don't check things out in advance. They don't have a planning mechanism. They don't seem to have what you would normally think of a rational good way to make decisions they in it this can go across a bunch of different areas they accuse you of improper behavior to camouflage or to take away from their improper behavior if somebody is accusing you of something that is completely ridiculous and you're not doing it that's really telling you that they are doing that and, and another thing is projecting. That's what projecting is too, but projecting can be in lots of different ways. And we have a separate video on projecting. They show a lack of empathy in a variety of ways. And you might not recognize that that's what they're showing you because this might be your only experience or first experience with someone like this on, a, on an in-person kind of level or a close to you level, a friend, a loved one, a girlfriend. Something. They're sloppy about covering their tracks. They are disrespectful, they're cheating, they're stealing, and they're telling you about it. You have to pick up on it or you find little clues and you are being kind and overlooking it. Don't overlook it. That's something right in your face. They steal from you. They steal from others and give to you. They, they steal from you and give to others they're entitled they claim that they're special they don't have to follow the rules of other people there might be a business meeting at work and a, or a certain dress code or a certain time to be there but they don't have to and they're not the boss they, they don't have to they're they're special and they mock other people who conform they have an on and off personality they may be very happy-go-lucky and then if you catch them, if you have a if they have a regimented regimented way or regular time that you see them and you catch them at a different time, their personality seems off. And you may think that it is the opposite of what it is. Their happy-go-lucky persona that you that you are used to seeing, you might think that that is their base personality, but really it's the other one. It's like a Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde thing. Things with them seem like it's in the movies. You may have a magical time. You may have these crazy things happening. It just may just seem surreal or staged or set up. And you might say, this is kind of like being in the movies. It is very surface and it is in the movies because it's a facade. It's not real. It's of their own creation. They give gifts to you, and again, this may or may not involve the stealing, but they give gifts to you, and then all of a sudden they disappear, and they start asking you about it. Well, where where is that that I gave you? Where is that, you know, where is that trinket? Where is that, you know, it could be bigger, bigger, small item. Where 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 is that? Where has that been? And, you know, they stole it back and gave it to someone else. 
to be, they want you to appreciate how devious they are, but they will say things like, you have no idea how smart I am. They're inconsistent in their communication. They will say something and then they will switch it around the opposite way. For example, they'll say, you know, I've really got to watch, we've got to watch our money. I can't go out and do these things. They either want you to pay for them or they can't, you know, do these things. So you make other arrangements. And then all of a sudden they say, well, let's go out. Let's go do this. My treat. And it's completely opposite. And the main thing is they always come first, whatever their immediate needs are. And usually these are short term it's one at a time, they don't show a, a lot of pre-planning or plans. It's just about now, and this is not, you know, live in the moment and be present. This is how they run their whole life, that it, it, nothing goes beyond today or tomorrow. Their plans are very short, and they always center around these people. So, those are 35 things. And you may have other ones if you do leave them in the comments for other people. If you are just encountering someone, you, you know, you've encountered other people that might have bits and pieces of this. But if you ever get in a situation where you are uh, friends with this person or you're dating them and these things pop up, the, they're, first of all, each of these is a red flag, but taken in groups, it's a huge red flag. It will help you identify that's what this person is and you will be amazed that you now have your light bulb turned on, your, your finder turned on, and you will start to spot these people. It will help you immensely as if they have a bright yellow shirt on. You'll start to notice these types of behaviors in all different parts of your life. It will help you immensely to navigate through various situations and not get yourself tangled up in it and <laughs> it will be a lot more pleasant to deal with people. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share it with someone who has been telling you stories about some great new person they met, this great gal, and you recognize some of these situations or you've been with them in some of these situations and you as an outsider are like, what is, what is the deal here? share it with them it may really it may really help them and subscribe to see our other videos i'll be back again with you next time thanks for watching